What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak to you about something that's been driving me insane for a while, but before I jump straight into that, I'll just give you a little bit of history. As you know, I speak Esperanto, but before I learned Esperanto, I really didn't care about languages in general. They were just words or just text on paper like I did not even think about them really the only point reason I really actually learnt Esperanto in the first place is because I wanted to speak a foreign language and feel sophisticated kind of cultured and maybe use it to pick up a girl down at the club that was about it and I figured you know I'll learn Esperanto because if I can't learn the easiest language in the world then I'm pretty much screwed and funnily enough I learned it and I can speak it pretty well now but then something else happened as I got further and further into the language there's this change that kind of happened in me. And the next thing I knew, I'd find myself at my friend's house, trolling through his old books, looking for articles on linguistics and different languages from around the world. And he'd come along and he's like, oh, can I help you? And I'll be like, back off. I'm occupied, can't you see? Type of thing. And next thing after that, I've got like all these language apps on my phone. I'm buying all these books from different languages and stuff. My bookshelf is filled with books on Esperanto, on different languages from around the world. There's way more there than I could ever read, but I just had to have them. Like the other day, okay. Um, I found, uh, while I was stumbling along, like, the random language articles online, I came across this website about this, um, Aboriginal language called Gupa Punya, and basically it's got 350 native speakers left, and besides that, the language is basically dying, and there's, like, this one basic language course that exists, and you can see that no one's ever really brought this, because it's there, and there's a comment section, and it's been there since, like, 2007 or something, and no one's commented, so you'd think if someone brought it they'd at least leave like a comment or something and most normal people would go yeah that's pretty cool and then they'd move along nope not me I had to buy the whole goddamn set why would I do that why would I buy an entire set on a language that hardly anyone speaks and then f actually start practicing it like who does that it makes no logical sense but I can't help it I can't help it like literally I'm also learning Chinese for my missus and for her family now that makes sense and I find myself walking around with books like this, Chinese for Dummies. And as you can see, this book is nice. It's quite nicely used, yeah? 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 Now it looks like a crazy person's been at it because I've just been writing through the whole goddamn book. Like literally every page has got something on it from where I've just kind of scribbled and written and random stuff from like cool things I've noticed and stuff about Chinese in general. And it's not just Chinese or Gupa Punya. I find my, okay, you know, most people when they're at work, and they're being a little bit dodgy and they want a little bit of spare time. They look around, there's a boss looking type of thing. And then they open up like a website on cars or on maybe on makeup, depending if it's a female or gaming or something like that. No, not me. I'm sitting here surfing Wikipedia, looking up like rare and bizarre languages from around the world. Conlangs and real languages and all sorts of like linguistic articles and stuff. And I'll just be completely fascinated. I'll just like completely read an it. My mate will come along and he's like, what? Dude, what are you researching? I'm like, nothing, just go away, you're interrupting my moment. This is me time, this is me time! And I'll just keep going at it. And then the same people, they'll go downstairs, they'll have a smoker break, they'll talk about world politics, about someone killing someone. No, not me, I'll be sitting here with Duolingo or some other random app on my phone just practicing some language. Like, I can't help it. Like, it's just, I, I cannot stop. I, it's, help me, I don't know what to do. Like, right now, I'm actually got an article on my computer open about Cornish because I've got this real fascination recently with Cornish and its revival movement and all that type of stuff. I don't know why. There's something about it that gets to me. Like, I'm not Cornish heritage or anything. And then I found out the other day, because I got a tiny bit of Mary in me, that I could possibly go to New Zealand and get, like, some free tuition at the universities there. And I was like, oh my god, i got to go to New Zealand and learn Mary. Because, yeah, I'm never going to use it here in Australia, but, you know, I have to learn it. It's just one of those things, like, another time, I was, I was in Fiji, and I started harassing this waiter about all the different Fijian words for different things, about table and stuff like that, and the guy's like, yeah, we normally just teach bulla, and that's about it, and I'm like, no, teach me more, I must know more, the, how are your verbs formed, okay, do you have case markers, do you do this, do you do that, <laughs> it's like, I can't help myself, so yeah, I don't know what's going on here, I don't know if this is just me, or if it's like, language geeks or if it's people who learn Esperanto become language geeks or if it's just like a random side effect I don't know help me out guys give me your input tell me your experiences that's pretty much it from me if I keep going on I'm just gonna go on about languages in general and about different languages I can't help it so yeah if you've liked this video give it a like share it around with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already 
and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, I'm just going to assume you're on Wikipedia looking up some bizarre language out of Africa, and that's totally cool because I'm going straight back there myself. Have a great day. <laughs>